best family on YouTube. You've seen the thumbnail. You've seen the title. Here's are two things that you should never chase. True friends and true love. Those are the two things you should never chase. And here's why. Friends, they come and go. Family, they come and go as well. But here's something that really stands by you. True friends will sit there and tell you, hey, you're being an idiot. You're being such an idiot right now. And true love is the same way. True love, you never should chase it. Chasing after someone, you should never do in the first place. Because if they wanted to text you, they would. If you are a priority to said person, well, you have found yourself a friend or a true love. Just saying. And to be honest, I've dealt with true friends before. I mean, I live by friends come and go. Friends are the future of what you want to become. If you want to become a millionaire, hang around a bunch of millionaires. I mean, the, the best thing for me to teach you guys, the, the best way for me to teach you guys is to tell you what the honest truth is. The honest truth is, is people come and go. I mean, you, you just got to take your life and just go, you know what? No one's going to take care of it. No one's going to help me take care of my life. Take it in your own hands and just go, I want what I want. And just go after it. Chase it. And and here's the biggest thing about friends and true love. And, and don't get this twisted, but there's, there's a difference. The difference is true love is a significant other. A true friend will tell you, hey, you're being an idiot. You don't need to be doing this to your significant other. You don't need to be doing this. You don't even need to be doing that. And guess what? Friends tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. Telling you what you want to hear is a fake friend, and that's all they are. Like, oh, you should go hang out with us because that's better. When they're telling you the same thing about their true, their true friends are just like, why are you hanging out with this idiot? Why are you hanging out with this guy? There's no point to, ha to hang around this guy. There's no point talking to this guy. You should hang out with us because we're better. We don't smoke. We don't do alcohol. We don't do any anything that is illegal. But over here, it, 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 it's a quick fix. Why? Why are, you doing, why are you doing that? And I didn't have very many friends growing up. I didn't. I had maybe 10. <laughs> 10 that I could count. And most of them were fake. A true friend, I mean, I had one that was like, bro, you're, you're, you're being an idiot. Bro, we, we need to take a walk. We, we need to chill. We need to hang out. We need to talk. Because you're being a real, you're, you're, you're being an idiot. And I was like, okay, for sure. What, what do I need to hear? And he's like, no, I'm going to tell you what you need to hear. And he told me exactly what I wanted, what I needed to hear. And he's like, I, I don't want to be... A punk. I, I I don't want to come off as bad, but you're being you're being an idiot. And friends will tell you tell you that. If that's that's a true friend. And if you get offensive over that, I hate to tell you, but that's on you, not on me. Just telling you, true friends tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. And it's and it's the same thing with true love. I mean, you don't you don't want to chase people. Chasing people leads to Disappointment and disappointment leads to depression. I know big drastic thing I've been on both ends of the stick. I've been a true friend and I have been a fake friend. I've been both um, I mean, I, I hate to admit that but And then once I realized that I was like, you know what? That's not my life I don't want to take control over that. So then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna flip that around and I'm gonna do what I want and chase after my dreams and my dream is slowly becoming a reality i mean i'm already getting noticed out in the public and i'm only at 21 subscribers on this channel if you haven't realized i am at 2k 2000 subscribers on the main channel thank you guys for everyone who subscribes over there um but the biggest thing that's a self-promotion anyway the the drastic change that I've done in my life, and, and this is all personal experiences, 
is if they wanted to, if they wanted to text you, they would. If they want to hang out, they would. If you were a priority, there's a difference between a priority and someone that they're tolerating. And it all goes by energy, the way that they talk to you, the way that they interact. It, it, just analyzing people. That's what, I, that's what I do for a living, is analyzing people. I've lived off of that. I've lived off of analyzing people to the point where it's second nature. I've done it for years. But the best way that I can tell you guys is do not sit there and chase people. It is not worth it. It is not worth chasing after someone that you don't even have chemistry with. If you don't feel anything there, do not chase. That's the same thing with friends and true love. Do not sit there and chase anybody. People are not worth chasing. If they can't accept you for you, then why are you chasing in the first place? If your guys are just sitting there, yes, every person is going to have their, ups, their good days and their bad days. Everyone's going to have that. YouTubers have it. But the best way to sit here and tell you is do not chase people. Don't, if they haven't texted you in two months, what do you think they're going to do? Text you randomly? No, they're, they're going to text you because they want something. And all of a sudden, this want becomes, why are you having you texted me? Then it's a realization of, you haven't texted me one time in two months. You haven't texted me one time to say, hey, how you doing? You haven't texted me one time to say, hey, I see, I have, I've, I've noticed you haven't texted me very often. Are you okay? And then once you see me in public, it's the same thing. You just drive on by, not saying hi. That's not a friend. That's, that's someone who's being fake. And I hate to tell you, but that's, that's being fake. I've had it happen to me so many times. I was walking down the street and this person just flew by me and I knew him. I was like, okay, you're getting blocked now because I don't want to deal with that. You're being fake. And I, I heard a quote the other day. Here's a quote. There's two quotes in this. You got the first one, don't... Uh, my, my mind went blank. Um, it'll come back to me. But the quote that I'm quoting is... I, I just I just had it. I just had it, and I lost it. Can you tell this isn't scripted at all? <laughs> but, oh, both will come to me. But honestly, true love, do not chase people. It's not worth it. It really is not worth chasing people and going out and just, there's no point. There's no point chasing people anymore. I, I've i done this recently. Um, I've done this recently. I started to whittle out the people who caused me drama. Drama. Here's the biggest one. Drama. Hate it. Hate it with a passion. But here's what I'm starting to do. I started doing this two weeks ago. And, I'm, and I analyzed people. So I've, I've started to whittle out people who have caused me drama. Chaos, stress, and guess what? Conflict. Started to whittle out those kind of people that I don't want to hang around. If you're if if you know me for who I am, you know I hate drama with a passion. I hate having conflict, hate having stress, hate all of these things that cause me to slack off at work going, I can't have this. I can't have this slack going off on work. Yes, I'm a week ahead on both on my main channel, I'm a week ahead. I cannot have the stress, slack, or whatever it is, conflict. I can't deal with it. I need to put my head down and just buckle down. If you know who I am, personally, that's who I am. But on the other side of me, you, you see what I do for a living. I mean, it's not hard. But this video is going on a little long. So if you don't know the quote, People come and go, but don't, true, you need true friends. True friends is the key to everything. True friends will tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. 
true friends sit there and hit you up and going, what are you really doing? How are you really feeling? They will sit there and tell you, hey, guess what? I, I see they hear you when you cry. You may be silent, but that's you screaming. Friends can, true friends can feel that. Just saying. Anyway, I've, this video has been going on long. I will see you guys in the next video. No matter what you're doing, I post every single week on this channel. Every Monday at 11 a.m. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.